Before the video starts, I just want to let you know that I am going to be giving away a free Elite Royal Pass to one person that leaves a like and also comments. So make sure you go ahead and do that because I am going to be announcing the winner this Sunday. And I think we're also going to go ahead and do it next week. So make sure you are subscribed for more giveaways. Now let's go ahead and get started with the video. What's up, worlds? The Seven Worlds Gaming here today, and today I'm gonna be showing you that gameplay you requested yesterday. Yes, my first gameplay on the PUBG Mobile 0 0.6.0 update, and it is just absolutely stunning. As you remember, yes, you were able to see that before. And also, just wanna give a quick little heads up about the uh, just giveaway that we're giving. If you didn't see that at the start of the video, just go ahead and watch it again. I am gonna be giving away one of the royal pass that costs like 600 uc and it's since it is getting a little bit more popular i might actually go ahead and make it too so you might actually see two winners for that so make sure you go ahead and hit that like comment below and also make sure you are subscribed with notifications that way that way when i do post videos you will be notified and you'll be able to come actually watch it and know what's going on but now let's actually go ahead and just turn to this gameplay right here because it is my first time playing first person and on this one actually i'm playing solo versus squads because you know when you start off and you're like a very low level it's definitely gonna go ahead and put you against like very like low rank people because you yourself are very low rank and i figure i might go ahead and run into some bots so why not just go ahead and get a challenge and actually just at the beginning for sure we're gonna be running into some people just look at this right here oh baby yeah <laughs> that's about to happen and you're gonna notice something very interesting here on the next clip that i'm actually gonna go ahead and show you and that is that on first person it is so much harder to find where you're getting shot from yes you know exactly where the shots are coming from but since you don't have the actual like third person uh view and angles you're not gonna be able to like see right away where you're getting shot from and that's something that kind of like messed me up i uh, <laughs> it almost got me killed to be completely honest and you'll see like right here what i'm talking about you see i started getting shot and i just have zero freaking clue where this guy's at i'm trying to go back and see where he's at and yeah it, it's not working out for us here for a second there, I do end up forgetting that I was playing solo versus squad. So as you can see, I'm getting shot from two different angles. And I mean, if you were able to find this person, please let me know in the comments because I had zero clue where it was. I think later on, I actually end up killing that guy. But nonetheless, I just try to find myself some cover. And at this time, I'm just looking for an M16. Whenever I'm not looking for one, I find them all the time. But when I'm actually looking for a gun that I want to go ahead and use, they're pretty much become like the rarest thing on the game i don't know why that happens i'm pretty sure that might happen to you too let me know in the comments below because i'm 100 percent certain that that probably has happened to you as well when you're looking for a gun or when you're looking for a certain item in the game and you're just not able to find it and then you go in the next game not even looking for it and it's right there it's probably like the first thing that you find man it just drives me crazy now one thing i will say about first person that i've seen so far since the beta is that they have seemed to go ahead and fix the vaulting the vaulting seems a little bit uh sharper i guess you could go ahead and say because in the beta if you'll remember for the people that have been watching the channel for a minute now you remember i was telling you that it seemed actually a little bit broken uh, not sure what was going on there with the beta but right now it seems kind of fixed and right here i'm just trying to like find creative ways of being able to look out of this window <laughs> and being able to shoot this guy outside me i'm not even sure if this guy's like an actual person or a bot but nonetheless you know your boy just tries to find a way tries to find a hole to get that gun through and is able to get that kill look at this right here i think he moves like a bot so he might have been a bot as i mentioned like at the start of every game this is my first first person game ever so more than likely there is gonna be bots but right there i almost got popped and get ready because you're about to see some of the most intense gameplay that i think i have ever experienced in pubg mobile so i'm just not even gonna talk i'm just gonna go ahead and let you experience it once i start getting pushed here by a full squad and uh it, it gets pretty wild now before i show you that i just want to point out like do you see how accurate those shots are with the ump like i i'm used to i'm known for having like some potato aims although sometimes to be fair i do have like some pretty okay aim like i can get some shots to a person if i need to but right there those shots were like extremely accurate i mean i'm actually being able to find out 
I'm able to control the recoil of a gun a lot easier here in first person than in than like I would in third person. Now, back to what I was saying. Check this out. All right. I'm, I'm just going to shut up now. Enjoy this madness and me pretty much just almost pooping myself. Rip, I forgot to reload, but just wait for it. That guy would have definitely been dead, but just wait for it, all right? I don't know why, but during that moment when I was actually getting that gameplay, I was completely freaked out, man. I thought I was going to die at any moment. There were so many footsteps. There were so many shots near me. There was just so much stuff going on surrounding me that I was totally freaking out. And check out this right here. I know you got to, like, take a sneak peek at it yesterday, but look at this gun, man. Look at the M16 with that camo from the Royal Pass. So definitely, if you want to get it piece of this make sure you leave a comment hit that like and make sure you are subscribed because uh this gun right here uh, as i said yesterday this color especially this gun skin uh it is gonna go ahead and make me stick out like a sore thumb but honestly i don't give a damn <laughs> it's at that stage where you just want to have like really cool stuff and i like the way it looks like look how smooth it is man first person has really impressed me let me know in the comments below what do you think so far about first person like are you enjoying it what are some things that you're actually finding that you don't enjoy as much like for me it would have to be just pretty much having to rearrange my playing style i can't be as aggressive because i don't know where everybody's at if you notice if you go back on that clip i was gonna go ahead and like try to jump off and jump into that gunfight like i would have done if it was third person uh but <laughs> for some reason i got scared i got freaked out and i decided not to go ahead and do that and i decided just to go ahead and hold back a little bit so that's one thing i'm definitely having to readjust to just my gaming style my play style and just how i'm gonna go ahead and go about things how i'm gonna go ahead and go about engaging people and all of that stuff because it's definitely gonna change and i mean it really has to because it is a completely different experience and as you're gonna be able to see right here like this is definitely about as i mentioned it is, it is the starting of the season as i'm able to level up for example when we get to crown as i am on the regular squads i'm pretty sure we're gonna be going up against more people as i do when i'm in, when i'm playing third person since i'm super uh, i'm higher rank now so <laughs> that's pretty much what i'm trying to say here so you gotta be able to see some bots like for example that one i decided not to run it over i i missed there on purpose just because i wanted to test out this gun look how accurate it is man like what like every single time i see that clip one burst they're done for that's ridiculous and from from what i've been able to notice at least for myself is i have noticed that i am a lot more accurate on first person i don't know why i i don't know if it has to do something to just uh, honestly i can't tell you if i say anything i'm just gonna be speaking out of my ass i'm just pretty much more accurate and i'm able to find a bunch of guns here oh yeah that's another thing on this gameplay you're gonna see like a bunch of guns i'm gonna be going just through everything sniper rifles ars light machine guns uh you can pretty much name it smgs that we used at the beginning but as i was saying yeah i i feel like i'm just so much more accurate i don't know what has changed like for example look at this the, i would have definitely potato dams for some reason but right here accurate 
Like, I'm able to control the recoil so much better. So much better. And I'm pretty sure as I give it more time, it's obviously going to go ahead and start getting better. So, oh boy. Oh, baby. We're about to turn into a damn machine. And I really hope so because I've really been wanting to just go ahead and polish my aim. Especially with snipers. So as you can see here, this is the same gameplay uh, as the one I'm showing you from earlier. It's just I just decided to go ahead and speed it up a little bit uh, because there was just a, a, a zone there where there, I was not getting anything. And I want to show you action. I love seeing action. So <laughs> even if it is target practice against bots right here. Nonetheless, I, I just want to be able to show you some of my stuff. Now, as I mentioned, I am going to go ahead and want to just start using more of the sniper rifles. Because I feel like my aim can definitely get a little bit better. And there's definitely some sniper rifles that are getting on my radar, like the SKS. I'm really loving that sniper rifle just because it fits my playing style. It fits the, the zone of me being able to just rush. I like, I like I love being able to rush. This is maybe one of my biggest faults as you worlds are able to see during my live streams. Being able to rush is like what i enjoy that 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 just pretty much fulfills me in any way if i see gunfire i'm gonna go to it i'm gonna stop i'm gonna come and find you except this guy right here for some reason like i could not find him <laughs> that boy was laying down as a snake or something because i must be blind i couldn't find that guy i do see the guy on the right side so i decided to just kind of back off as i see that he's shooting him and uh yeah <laughs> if you find him Please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, overall, I just want to start using a lot more guns that I wouldn't use before. As well, like this M16 that I'm using right now. It is insanely accurate. Like, I was pleasantly surprised when I decided to pick it up just because of the camo. Just how accurate it is and how steady my shots were and how easy it was to control the recoil. So let me know in the comments below, as I was talking about earlier, do you feel that your aim has gotten better by playing in first person or like you are at least a lot more accurate in first person? I still, I, I, I've noticed I still kind of like really, really suck with the sniper rifle. <laughs> as you're going to be able to see right here. And that is because I'm not just, I'm not accustomed yet on, on leading the shot with the sniper rifle. With the AR, it's easier for me because I can just get shots easier and faster and I can just readjust my control to recoil and a bunch of other stuff that I don't really talk about usually on my on my on my gameplays but as you can see right here I'm just trying to like figure out how much how much is my bullet drop from here to there and just being able to see other stuff that I usually wouldn't really care about so it I think you might start seeing a lot more sniper gameplay in this channel worlds you you know I'm mostly known for the M4 I, I think I would like to say that if I get the M4 in my hands uh, I feel a lot more comfortable and that's something that I've always talked to you worlds about. Like, get a gun on your hands that you're super comfortable with. And uh, I'm about to show you one right here. Yeah, baby. The AUG A3. This gun, ever since I used it, I think it was uh, during like an arcade mode. It is ridiculous how good this gun is. I am pleasantly surprised. Like, before, I never used it. I never really care about, like, going to crates to gain new guns. But this one has changed... My, my outlook on just about everything like look at this like that's a little bit too much i think i'm able to control the recoil a lot easier with the red dot than with the a time on the m16 and right here i just decide to switch it you know the aug that dude's laying down he doesn't know what's about to happen kaboom baby give me that chicken dinner because uh that is the first game we play 18 kills easy done it and we did play against a bunch of bots i'm not gonna lie to you it is the beginning i've been saying it from the from the start of this video there is gonna be bots since it is the beginning but nonetheless i hope you enjoyed this gameplay if you did do me a huge favor hit the like button let me know in the comments below just some of the questions that that i've been talking about i do reply to the comments so i'm looking forward to see what you worlds got to say and also don't forget to enter for that giveaway that we're gonna go ahead and announce this sunday it has been your boy the seven worlds gaming and i'm gonna go ahead and see you yeah you right there, sitting on the toilet again. I'm going to see you on the next one. Here one minute, gone the next. There's no heart beating inside your chest. It's vanished.